On Friday afternoon, the Orioles picked up the 2010 option on manager Dave Tremblay. And if his team's offensive performance on Friday night was a sign of what to expect next season, then the skipper is in for a better summer than he had in 2009. Orioles facing David Percy, who stymied the O's a week and a half ago. Bottom one, two in scoring position, one out. Nick Markakis going to right center field. This is a ground rule double. Brian Roberts scores, so does Historis. 99 runs batted in for Nick Markakis, 2-0 O's. Bottom three, it was 3-0. Three two outs, runners on the corners. Melvin Mora popping it up. This should be the third out, but ooh, nobody's there. It's an RBI single to make it 4 nothing. Jason Birkin has the highest ERA of any pitcher in baseball with at least 100 innings pitched because of reasons like this. Edwin Encarnacion, a three-run blast, makes it 4-3. Same inning, now two outs, Randy Ruiz. He's back, he's healthy, and he's crushing big league pitching. Get your ice cream, your tootsie footsie ice cream. His 10th of the season makes it 4-4. Bottom four, two outs. It always hurts more with two outs, especially when Matt Wieters does it. A three-run blast, his ninth of his rookie campaign, Baltimore up 7-4. Then it was time for Michael Aubrey to continue the O's power surge. This is a two-run blast, his third of the season, putting Baltimore up by a score of 9-4. Bottom six, bases loaded. Aubrey, while you're up, fill her up again. His first career grand slam. Give him the lumberjack slam with two pancakes, grilled honey ham, bacon, sausage, two eggs, grits. His choice of bread, how about challah? Puts him up 13-4, career high, six RBIs. O's roll over the Jays 13-7. It's their most runs scored since 13 back in August 28th against Cleveland. O's improved a 6-1 against the Blue Jays this year at Camden Yards as the loss snaps the Jays' six-game winning streak.